These things are absolutely massive. Where are we gonna put all of them? What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be talking about the three liter Funko Soda. We're going to be breaking down the pros and the cons to ultimately determine if it is worth the hype. So in case you guys hadn't heard about this brand new item that Funko has recently come out with, it is an expansion of their already popular soda line. But for today's video, we're going to break it down in segments with the first item being the price. Now the price is without a doubt the thing that collectors are most concerned about when it comes to any item that any company is dropping. And for the most part, all of Funko's products are pretty reasonably priced. They do have a low cost of entry when it, in terms of their Funko Pops as well as their standard size Funko sodas. However, if you want to get one of these giant three liter mammoths in your collection, they come with a hefty retail price of $40 each, not to mention tax plus shipping. So if you want to get one of these, you have to pay 2.67 times more for this soda compared to a standard size soda, which looks like this and costs only $15. Now moving into our second point for today's video, we're going to talk about space. Now space itself is a very big factor, especially amongst Funko collectors. If you get into this hobby and if you go very, very fast, so can your space. Before you know it, you're out of shelves, you're out of rooms, and you're just feeling the impact of all your collectibles slowly coming in on you. This is a huge issue with the three liter Funko soda. Yes, they look great. The figures have a lot of detail. However, most collectors are going to want to display them exactly like this out of their bottle so you get the full effect of the entire figure every time you see it. That leaves you with all of these bottles and whether they're stored away in a box, in a closet somewhere, or on the shelf or on a table behind the figure that they came out of, they still take up a lot of room. So speaking of shelf presence, the three liter sodas actually have a very unique opportunity to portray traditionally larger characters from movies, TV shows, comic books, and what have you. Now this is great, especially when it comes to a character like Maleficent, who they've made a smaller version of her soda, and now they've come out with the three liter dragon version, and I have to say, if you're a Disney fan, you're probably very happy right now, especially if you're able to portray and show off your Maleficent regular soda in front of or next to the Dragon 3 liter soda. I think it just has tremendous self shelf presence and a unique opportunity to do that. However, I think Funko definitely needs to keep this up if they want people to continue going after these sodas. So far, they've done a great job, but I really hope that continues throughout the years. For our next topic, we're going to talk about a huge feature that sodas offer that traditionally pops and other figures um, overall have not offered, and that is the chance at chase. The chance at chase alone is one of the biggest factors that I think that has drawn so many collectors into the soda game. Now, thankfully, all five of these three liter sodas that Funko has dropped so far do have a chance at chase. We got very lucky. We even pulled the Baymax chase and that was really exciting we were only able to get one of the baymax sodas and we got lucky enough to pull the chase i think if funko continues to do that it brings a lot of excitement to the collectible and the hobby and that will keep collectors like myself very engaged now we have to talk about the release schedule for these three liter funko sodas that funko has dropped the first one we got was the Iron Giant here back for Funcon, which was an event that they held at Funko HQ. This one was very limited and it sold out very quickly. The next one was Baymax and he also sold out very quickly. However, when it came time for the 10,000 piece Wampa to drop on the Funko shop, it did not sell out. In fact, it sat on the website for a matter of days. Funko has dropped a lot of these in a very short period of time and with the hefty price and with them upping the piece count like they did on the Wampa, I think that was the number one contributing factor as to why the Wampa did not sell out as quickly as Baymax and the Iron Giant. 
Now continuing our talk here with the piece count, Funko then went ahead and released two more sodas for New York Comic Con 2022, both of which were at least 10,000 pieces, and the Maleficent is coming in at 15,000 pieces, making it officially the largest piece count 3 liter Funko soda that Funko has made to date. I think if Funko really wants to succeed with this 3 liter soda line, they have to keep the piece count below 10,000 pieces. I think ultimately 8 8,000 pieces would be the max I would put on any of these larger figures because of the price, because of the space that it's going to take up that we've already talked about. I think 8,000, maybe 9,000, but definitely not more than 10,000 pieces is the most 3 liter sodas that they should make for any character that they decide to release. Now the last point that we're going to make before I leave it up to you guys to make the determination. So let me know down in the comment section below as we're going through this video if you are collecting the 3 liters Funko sodas and if you do think that these are worth the hype. I'm going to give you my thoughts in just a second but we have one more piece of exciting Funko soda news to talk about that directly ties into the topic of today's video and that is a soda that was actually revealed at Fright Night and I even took the pictures that I'm going to throw up on the screen. It was very exciting when we got the reveal for the next 3 liter Funko soda and that of course is the Hulk. Now the reason that I'm very excited for this soda is because I am a huge Marvel fan. The Hulk is traditionally a very large character so it makes perfect sense to have him in 3 liter soda form and I was most excited for these other two features. It is going to be 5,000 pieces and of course going to be dropping on the Funko shop but the other key thing that I'm very excited about is it's going to have a 800 piece Red Hulk chase. And Red Hulk right now is pretty hot in the Marvel world as we just learned that Harrison Ford of all actors just got cast as General Thunderbolt Ross and he's going to actually be portraying Red Hulk in the upcoming new Captain America movie as well as the Thunderbolts movie. So I am very excited for this soda and I really hope that I can pull that Red Hulk chase. So guys, overall, I do think that the Funko Soda 3 liters are worth the hype. However, I do think they're worth the hype with a couple notations here. I think that if Funko wants to succeed with this line, they have to keep the releases dropping sporadically because of the price. They're not going to go back and uh, lower the price. They've set that standard for $40, which I was a little surprised about. I thought that was a little bit on the higher side. I thought it would be more around $25 to $30, maybe $35 for a con exclusive, but they have set the standard. They've set the bar at $40. I also think that they need to keep the piece count low. Like I said, they definitely need to have a chance at Chase. And the last thing that I really think makes them worth the hype is them portraying typically larger characters. As long as they keep doing those four things, I definitely think these sodas are worth the price of admission. Now, according to a poll I did over on Instagram, make sure you guys are following us over there. 40% of collectors out of 500 votes did say that they are collecting these. However, 60% said that they are currently not collecting them. So I want to hear everybody's thoughts down in the comment section below. Do you think that these sodas are worth the hype? Are you collecting them to go along with your other sodas or your other pops? I definitely want to hear everybody's thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. And uh, very much so because this is a very hot topic right now amongst Funko collectors. Guys, since it is Monday, it is time for our weekly Monday motivation segment. And with today's motivation, it is very important because we are nearing the end of October already. I can't believe it. October has absolutely flown by. Halloween is in a week, which is absolutely mind-blowing, but Christmas, guys, is right around the corner, and with everything shaping up as far as, you know, prices going up, I foresee a lot of shipping delays that are going to be happening in December, so guys, make sure you make your Christmas list now. Determine who you are going to be shopping for, how many items you're going to be picking up for each person, and get it done earlier rather than later. You'll definitely be thanking yourself come the middle of December when everybody is freaking out and frantically 
basically going from mall to mall, going from website to website, and trying to grab last minute Christmas items when it could potentially be too late. You should also take this advice seriously because this is coming from somebody who typically is late with a lot of things and I don't plan ahead with uh, a lot of things in life as much as I should, but I'm definitely not messing around with Christmas 2022. I've already started. Joanna has already started planning ahead. We've come up with a list of items that we want to get for all the people that are very important to us in our lives, and uh, we've already started to order some of those items. Also, guys, it is Monday tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern. We're going to be back on the OneNot app for our regular weekly auction. If you be, happen to be looking for any items, maybe you're doing some early Christmas shopping, like I just suggested. If you need some pops or maybe even some sodas for that special someone or a good friend of yours in your life or maybe even a fellow collector, we may have that item that you need. So definitely come check us out tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern. If you want to see everything single item that is going up for sale tonight, we actually dropped another collection haul video yesterday so you can see exactly what is going to be up for grabs tonight. We always have a great time and we really appreciate everyone's support. We even have a couple three liter Funko sodas that are going to be going up. We just did a big chase roulette video this past Friday and we have a couple extra ones that we don't need for our collection. So that's going to do it for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your Funko Soda 3 liter thoughts down below and with that being said, don't stop shooting until you score. We'll see you all tonight.